Gaia for the ancient Greeks was the whole earth as a, as a massive living being. And that's what I would call a sort of deep Gaian consciousness, which I think all of us need to cultivate now if we're going to solve this dreadful ecological crisis. We all need to fall in love with the earth. So if I say to you, the earth is around 4,600 million years old, that's just a huge number, and it doesn't mean that much. We can't, we can't imagine such a big number. Well, instead of just giving people, or students here, the number, what we do is to walk that distance. So 4,600 million years is translated into 4.6 kilometers. So we walk 4.6 kilometers, representing the age and the history of the Earth. We start in the deep past when the Earth was formed all that time ago, and we walk towards the present moment. Okay, so 4,600 million years ago is when the Earth first formed from the massive supernova explosion. 4,000 million years ago is when, roughly, when the oceans appear, probably sent in by ice comets from the solar system. 3,500 million years ago is when the first bacteria appear. And these little bacteria aren't spreading all over the planet because they're living off chemical energy around certain rocks and they can't spread very far. We've still got such a long way to go. And we don't have any plants, we don't have animals, we don't have fungi, we have no multicellular life at all. It's only bacteria and they're living only in the oceans. Okay, this is, this is roughly the place. Maybe 2,900 million years ago, when one little bacterium, just one little bacterium, cracked the almost impossible task of using sunlight to split water. So now we have the birth of a self-regulating planet, completely bacterial, but self-regulating nonetheless. So this is the moment when Gaia is born. Welcome to our Gaian planet. And David Fleming was very keen on Gaia in his books, you can read about it. In the ecology of the real world, a kind of interaction will kick in between the millions of living species and their material setting, rocks, water, and solar energy, and this will conserve favorable conditions. But there comes a point where a shock, such as the relentless loading of carbon into the atmosphere by an industrial civilization, reaches the limits of Gaia's resilience. We've reached the end of the walk now, so it's time to bring out the tape measure. And maybe all gather, come and gather around the tape measure now. Everyone, that's it. Come, come crouch down. The closer you see it, the better. OK, and just remember how far we've walked as we do this. And this is 20 centimetres, 200,000 years ago. Now, our species, Homo sapiens, appears somewhere around here, right? Now, let's go to the end of the last ice age, which we think of as so long ago. It's about 13,000 years ago. Well, that's <laughs> just about here, 13 millimetres. And finally, let's go straight to the Industrial Revolution, which is 200 years ago. That's one-fifth of a millimetre, which is impossibly difficult to show you. Can you imagine one-fifth of a millimetre in the context of this huge long walk that's taken us hours to do, representing the age of the Earth, yeah. and our massive impact on the planet, which, of course, David Fleming was so concerned about, happens in the last one-fifth of a millimetre. Industrial revolution begins, climate change begins, the sort of climate change that, that uh, is brought about by humans. We have the sixth mass extinction happening, and the Earth leaves the nice stable state, the Holocene stable state, and moves probably towards a very catastrophic warming. And it's great you've got a steam train coming, because this really does represent the Industrial Revolution. Look, look at all the steam being blown out. Of that's not just steam, that's carbon dioxide, <laughs> which is going to help warm the Earth. And that CO2 has been coming in from steam engines like that, 
and later on from petrol engines and diesel engines for 200 years, one fifth of a millimeter. And in that one fifth of a millimeter, we are utterly transforming the face of the earth forever. Welcome to the present moment.